Hello everybody. Today I'm going to teach you three different techniques to coil a rope for whitewater rescue. First, we're going to look at the loop coil. Start with the rope in the hand that you're going to throw with. Starting with the rope pointing away from you, make nice even coils. Make sure that you keep your throwing hand still while making the coils as that will avoid tangles in the rope. The next method that we're going to look at is the butterfly coil. Some people prefer this method because they think it's a faster way to execute the coiling. To do the butterfly coil, you're again going to start with the rope in your throwing hand with the end of the rope pointed away from your body. But this time, you're going to make coils on either side of your hand going back and forth so that it looks like dog ears or a butterfly. The last method we're going to discuss in this video is the figure eight coil. This is the preferred method of many search and rescue technicians because when doing this method, the rope is far less likely to become tangled. To do this method, again start with the rope in your throwing hand, point it away from your body. You're going to wrap the rope around your forearm, around your elbow, and then back in a figure eight pattern. This method takes the most practice to perfect, but with a little bit of practice, the motion will become second nature. Voila, nice, tight coils. These rope skills are a fundamental part to building up your skills to a point where you can be an effective rescuer on the river.